Good morning, Huskies. We hope you guys had a bonkers weekend. Do you guys feel like you need another outfit to go with your Husky pride? If so, great, because North Shore Student Store is now open. DECA will be there selling school supplies and North t-shirts every Tuesday and Friday during both lunches and during open tutorial. They will also be selling cookies. Juniors and seniors, Rotary and Mercy Clinic are hosting a job shadow day October 30th. The Rotary has a variety of careers to choose from and the Mercy Clinic is providing a variety of opportunities within the healthcare field. Including positions related to physicians, laboratory sciences, nursing, and healthcare administration. You would need to have transportation to and from the sites and students need to sign up in the counseling office as fast as you can because the spots are first come first serve. If there are any freshman girls interested in playing freshman girls basketball this year, go to see Coach Allison McIntosh or Coach Pete Pepperonis for information. The library will be selling coffee to celebrate Banned Books Week during homecoming weeks, so starting today it will be available before and after school, also during lunch and tutorial until October 4th. A cup of this amazing coffee costs $2.50, so make sure to stop by and grab a cup of joe. And hey, why not a book on the go? If you're interested in a career in the medical field, Mercy, Oklahoma City is having an annual health career exploration day on Wednesday, October 2nd. They are taking a bus in the morning from 9 to 11 a.m. If you're interested, please sign up in the counseling office this week. The first 50 students to sign up are able to attend. Now we'll give the camera to Tony and Izzy to talk about homecoming week and what events are happening. Thanks, Shanice. This week we have many activities going on that you can enjoy. One of our favorite is the dress-up days. So let's kick things off with our dress-up day runway show. Monday, today is pattern day. Tuesday, gold out. Wednesday, safari day. Thursday, business on top and party on bottom. And Friday will be homecoming shirts or North Spirit attire. On Wednesday, we'll be having the homecoming parade here on campus at 4.30. The parade will start at the Siberian Gym bus loop, go through the parking lot, around John Ross and loop back around to North Campus. On Friday, we'll be having an AM homecoming assembly and later Friday evening, we will be having the homecoming football game versus Owasso starting at 7 p.m. The homecoming royalty court will include the Queen candidates, Izzy Bellick, Lily Durbin, Michaela Hole, Alyssa Merkley, and Sammy Smith. The King candidates, Jack Cheap, Kobe and Twistle, Logan LeBru, Ben Miller, and Tyler Trulock. Homecoming King and Queen will be announced at the football game, so come out and support your friends. Thank you so much for joining us today, and now back to the studio. Thanks, guys. Those dress-up days sound fun. I think we missed some other club meetings, Shanice. We did. We forgot to mention Poetry Out Loud. Poetry Out Loud is looking for participants to memorize and perform poetry. Come by room F112 to talk to Ms. Cho for more information and to sign up. And now we'll go to our sports anchors. The Husky softball team had a huge win last Monday, beating Norman North 12-0. During that game, they hit an impressive five home runs. On Wednesday, they also pulled off a 4-2 win against Deer Creek. Congrats to our Husky softball team. Varsity Volleyball had a close match versus Memorial last week, but lost 2-3. Before that match, they had a record of 19-5 and and were ranked number two in the state. Their season is winding down now, making senior night next Thursday, October 10th. Come out that night to cheer our team on during their last match at home. On Friday night, the varsity football team had an away game at PC North. Let's go to a quick video to hear that game went. Putnam City North came out strong, scoring 14 points in the first quarter. In the second, the Huskies scored 7, and the Panthers scored 23. After halftime, the Huskies came back strong with a scoreless third quarter and a fourth quarter with both teams scoring 7, bringing the final score to Evan North 14 and PC North 44. Thanks for that. The Husky cheer team became regional champs two weekends ago and this weekend competed in state. Let's get another update on how they did. The Edmund North cheer team went into Saturday's state competition as the clear front runner, having won state the last five years and winning regionals this year. Despite our team having a fantastic performance, Jinx narrowly edged out North by a single point, making the final score 258 to 257. Let's watch a brief clip of North's runner-up routine before going back to Aiden and Derek.
Congratulations to Cheer and to the entire athletics department. Now, we'll go back to Shanice and Colin in the studio. All right, guys, that'll be all from us. You guys have a good week and enjoy homecoming. Good, good luck, Huskies. Huskies.